In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the over function in a calculated column to calculate the peak oil production for a given well. In this data set, we have monthly oil production for a group of wells in the Gulf of Mexico, and each well is identified by a unique API number. We've got the oil in its own column, but it'd also be nice to have the peak oil production, or the maximum value that this well has ever produced throughout its entire production history. To do that, we'll need to insert a calculated column. Calculated columns are made up of available columns from your data table and functions that are built into Spotfire. We can use the max function to find the peak oil value and we can search for this function by typing max in the search bar here. We can insert this function and then find our oil column and then insert that into our expression. So I'm going to calculate this two different ways. First, just with this function as is, and then later we'll use the over function to see the difference between the two. So I'll give this a name of peak oil, verify the sample result and the data type, and then press OK. So now I've got a new column for our peak oil, but when we scroll down and we start looking at values in this column, we see that it's repeating this value of 519,731 for every day. So what it's actually doing is finding the maximum value for oil in the entire column and then returning that value for every row within our table. We're not actually interested in the max oil production for any well, but we want to find it for each individual well. So to do that, we'll need to edit our expression and use the over function. To get back to that expression, I can click edit, column properties, scroll down until we find our peak oil column, highlight that, and then click Edit. Now I'll place my cursor at the end of this expression and type over API and insert that column. What the over function is doing is dividing our data or grouping it into individual unique categories based on the API value and then finding the max oil for each individual API. And we can click OK. And now when we look at our peak oil values, we see that as the wells change, the peak oil value is also changing. For this well, the peak oil value occurred in the first month. But for some of the others, they occurred in different months, such as this well. In the next example, we'll find the peak oil value for every well for every single year. So instead of having one value for the entire production history, we'll have a peak oil value for each year. And on this tab, I've inserted a new column to indicate the year of the production date. And this table is just colors so that we can clearly see when a new year starts. So we'll insert a new calculated column. And this time, instead of writing our expression from scratch, we can take our most recent expression and insert that into the window. So all we need to do now is to add a second column to evaluate our over expression these overexpressions are not limited to one column. In fact, we can evaluate them over the multiple columns to find the intersection of two or more columns. To do that, we'll open the parentheses after the over function and then put a comma after the API column and then find the year column from our list of available columns and insert that into the expression and then close the parentheses. And we'll give this one a name of peak oil per year and click OK. So now we've got the peak oil value for each well, but also for each year. So for a given year, we can find the month where the well produced more than any other month in that year. In the final example, we'll find the cumulative oil production for each month for every well. The cumulative oil production for a given well would be the current month plus the sum of all prior months. So for this well, the cumulative oil production as of September 2004 would be 447,421 plus 41,169 plus zero plus zero. And we can calculate this for each month using an over expression. We'll start by inserting a calculated column. And in this column, we want to take the sum 
the oil and evaluate that expression over all previous dates. If we look at the available over functions, we see that the third option is all previous. So in our example, this will take the oil production for the current month and then add that value to the sum of all previous months. Type all previous, scroll down until we see it, hit the tab, and then select our prod date and insert that column between the parentheses. And we can name this column cumulative production and hit OK. And when we look at our column, it doesn't seem like it's doing this correctly because for each well, we should start with a value equal to the first month. But in this example, when we expected a value of zero, we see a value of over 20 million. So I left out one thing from our expression, and that's identifying that we want to do this for every individual well. So we need to add the API column into our custom expression. So we'll go back and edit our column properties, find that cum production column, and click edit. We can find the API column, insert that into the beginning of our over expression, separate it with a comma, but we see that there's an error that pops up. When we're using this all previous function with a date column, we need to add another function to our expression called intersect. An intersect is going to return the intersection of two different columns that are on different hierarchies. So after we add our API column and the intersect function, we can hit OK. And now our King production column looks the way we expect. And we can verify this by inserting it on our line chart at the bottom, finding our King production column, and putting it on the y-axis. So this would be the total King production for all of our wells in the field. But we could also filter down and look at the King production for each individual well. And that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching.